In this example, I'm going to add a Safari extension that's going to automatically block the cookie pop-ups in websites. So in order to add extensions, you want to go to the settings application. And once you're inside the settings, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find apps and you want to click into that. Once you see a list of apps, you want to scroll down to the Safari app. And once you found the Safari app, you want to click into it. And here you're going to see a list of all of your Safari settings. Now again, to add extensions, you want to scroll down until you find the extensions option and click into that. Here, you may already find a list of compatible extensions, and that's because they are shared across your Apple devices, such as Mac and iPad. However, we want to download new extensions, so you want to click on More Extensions, and it's going to take you to the Safari extensions inside of the App Store. And here, you can browse all of the extensions that are available for Safari on your iPhone. Now, for this example, I want to search for a new extension, so I'm going to click on the search icon in the bottom right, and in the search box at the top, I'm going to search for an extension called Hush. Once I've found it, you want to search for the extension. And then I'm going to scroll down and find the extension, which looks like this. So I'm going to click onto it. And if I scroll down, I can read more information about this application. And it also tells you at the bottom that it supports a Safari extension. So once you're ready, you want to scroll all the way to the top. And you want to click on the Get button. And this example, I've already downloaded it before. So it shows as a cloud button. Once the Safari extension has been downloaded, we can exit out of the App Store. And now we just need to go ahead and enable this extension for Safari. To do that, you want to go to the Settings application, and you want to go back to the Extensions page that I showed you how to get to earlier. Now you'll notice that the new extension has been added to the list. So you want to go ahead and click into it, and then you want to click on Allow Extension. And you also have the option to allow private browsing if you wish to do so. Now the extension has been enabled, we can exit out of the System Settings, and the next time we open our Safari web browser and we go to a website that requires a cookie pop-up, you notice that it's no longer popping up and that's because the Safari web browser extension has been enabled. If you want to change the settings of your Safari extensions, they actually download as applications. So for example, the Hush application that we downloaded earlier, we can click into that. And if there were settings for this application, we can change them here.